for the leaf blowers. Well, you won't be able to see because it's pretty dark outside. It just came back from school after I last edited the trimmer portions. Um, I do have six leaf blowers. I have, you just can't see, a home light ZR leaf blower and a weed eater gas one up in the attic does, does not run, so I'm just using them as parts. But I am going to review the ones that currently run, namely this electric weed eater leaf blower and my collection of steel. Let's go have a look at the electric one, shall we? So, it's a pretty lightweight machine. It's by Weed Eater, Groundskeeper Plus, model 2560, with a 8.5 motor, 8.5 amp motor. I think it blows 125 miles per hour, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty good unit, it's electric, so it's not really good for commercial use, but for the average uh, homeowner, it's just the perfect one. So all you have to do to start it is just plug it in. And there you go, that's it. But that electric blower you saw pales in comparison to what I have here. My three steel leaf blowers. I have here a 2009 BG55 with a 27cc uh, engine. Right over here. Same model is used on the SH55, which is the shredder back version. Also, the BG65 and the BG85 have the similar engine. Alright, so has cruise control, so you engage the throttle, press this button, and to disengage it, just press the throttle. You have your on and off switch. What I like about it is that it's free from all uh, dirt and stuff. I wish my FS38 had that. Here's the gas cap. And I think it has a rating of 140 miles per hour. Alright, so let's go start it up. This one has uh, run and show. So this is a warm start. Let's see how it runs. On a cold start. Oh. Alright, let me just pump it up. And there we go. All right, beautiful. Next is my 2011 BG86 that I got this year. Uh, actually, I think I got it in June. Very similar to my BG55, but this one here features the 27 double stratified engine. The sound rating is around 70 decibels at 50 feet. This one features the semi-automatic choke that my FS70 has. It's virtually the same engine. Got a little bit bigger gas tank. Yeah, 27. I think this one is manufactured uh, November of 2010. 
Oh, so this is a 2010 then. Okay. That's pretty good to know. Alright. Put on choke. Prime it. And pull away. Runs like a champ. Features the Elastic Star handle. And also you have cruise control on this one. Gauge the throttle, push this upwards, and then push this down to disengage it. And I like this one here, of course, and during the steel review video that I posted a couple months ago, is that it's free from all dirt and stuff, and uh, pretty cool. And here is my big monster, the Steel BR420 Magnum. This is a 2006 model. It's apparently uh, Canada's best-selling backpack leaf blower that Steel offers. So you have your choke right here and your run. That last was start handle. There's same gas tank as, same gas cap as the other leaf blowers. Got a huge one. A lot of gas in here. This is where it originally came from. <laughs> the manufacturer suggests a real price of this particular blower is around $550 Canadian, but lucky for me, I found this one on Kijiji, which is sort of like a Canada's version of Craigslist, and I picked this up for $275. And when you look at it, even though it's a five-year-old unit, it looks brand spanking new. The guy put very low hours onto this machine. You see, this engine's a lot bigger than my other two leaf blowers. This one here is a 57cc. And it's rated at 74 decibels, so it's a lot louder than the two. Again, cruise control. Engage the throttle. Push this up, and then push this down. Disengage it. On and off. And that's the serial number. All right, let's give this one a whirl. Okay, so put it on choke. Try to fire. Now put it on the run. This one has the manual choke, so it doesn't have a primer like my other ones, which is a bad thing. But it still runs perfectly well. everyone hope you enjoy this awesome video featuring the uh, steel leaf blowers and the weed eater electric one hope you enjoy it guys and thanks for watching